tried every way possible to get into this Cuisinart SC, the model, it's inside. I think it's SCO-60, I believe. So even though you're able to get from the top, you can't access anything at the bottom, even though you remove the bottom, I tried heating it up to see if it was glued on, but I noticed that this piece is here. So what I decided to do instead is to just cut it right down the middle. Since this is the back, it may not be seen, obviously, we already cut the cord because this unit has been replaced for free by Cusino. But I wanted to get in here of how we actually work. Don't try this at home, at all. If you do, that's a no risk. <laughs> This was apparently uh, glued on as well. You're supposed to be looking through the camera. <laughs> I am. No, you're not. You're looking through your eyes, regular eyes. You hear that? that now be real careful. Open it, you know, smash your fingers. So look at the way this is made. It's actually encased inside. So I cut some of the plastic. Hoopty hoop. Anyway, so now I can get at it. Ha ha! So I will do part two on this. Uh, yeah, SCO dash is the model. And now that I opened it, it exposes the uh, full, full box and box. So I want to see why this unit uh, is not opening the cans and uh, I couldn't find anything on the internet. Okay, so what you do is uh, get a spatula or very thin knife, you put it in the wedge, and after you put it in the wedge, you kind of pull the tab up and it'll open like that. Okay, and then you can. Uh, Apparently, two more bolts. So you put your. Uh... Okay, that's one. And this is the next one. Yep, that is how it is. Two more bolts inside, which are not seen. See the placement of the bolts i left them there so you can see it inside of that carotene part seems it has some locking mechanism here and i seem to see what the issue is it's on the gear itself as you can see when the gear spins it spins out here but if i put my finger in it i can stop it see i can stop it so i'm moving it with my finger but in here, I'm stopping it with my fingers. It's not supposed to be. So that is, uh, that means that the, the gears were eaten. So now, let me try to get to the gears to uh, take it apart. So first thing we're gonna do is uh, remove the motor, remove the, uh, the motor from its casing so that we can get to the gears. I love electronics, electronics is quite large. Bolts. I love electronics taking things apart. It's something I enjoy very much. Now, Kusinar did send me a replacement part for free. Um, and that's why the cord, the cord is cord, cut. Um, so here's the inside of the motor. Make sure you don't lose that washer there. And that just goes inside this way, this way, and this goes right there. Okay. Here are the gears exposed. I don't know you want to see. And I'm going to lift up the first gear. 
So here is the first gear. Nothing's missing. Let me put it on the side. Okay, easy fix. All right, so check this out. So as I told you that uh, it would spin when I would hold it with my finger, what happened was that this gear, where it meets the contact for the metal part right here, in here, it seems to uh, be free floating. It's actually moving on its own. So that's obviously not what we want because we want it to make contact compressed so that when one moves, the other one moves. So it seems that uh, the motor kind of stripped it. So in order for us to fix that, as you could see, look, I'm holding it with my finger where it's not moving, but I could spin the gear. See, that's not good. That's not what we want. So to fix that, we could put crazy glue. <laughs> that would work. So we'll put crazy glue in there and it will hold it. I don't know for how long. We'll get some crazy glue and I will put it on and then I will go ahead and reassemble this and then I will test it and see if it works. All right, I'll give you on part three on the gear itself. We want to make sure that it, it goes, it sits right in there. be it. Now I'm going to I'm going to let it I'm going to move it a little bit so that uh, well that actually worked quite well. I didn't think it would work that fast but it moment did. of truth. I already fixed the uh, thing. Let's see if it, uh, if it actually would work. I'm going to put the um, key here. Apparently it's running. Now let me get a can. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to use this. <laughs> this! <laughs> okay, so let's go. Let's see. Hey, it works. Wow. All Yay. right, so we have everything that is needed. That was a good repair. I now have a free can opener. 